Alright, so what's going on guys? Uh, as you see, I'm wearing a green shirt, something I don't care about, and the Honda's all tore apart. I got the head off a couple days ago, but it just, I haven't posted video. So yeah, I've got the head off. Uh, I thought maybe it was the head gasket or the valve seals. Looked out to be that that wasn't what they were. I actually melted a piston. Feels like weld marks on the sidewall of cylinder three. So the block's no longer useful. And the piston is clearly melted right over. And you can see the actual uh, ring on the piston. I honestly think what I'll do is just the guy I got the car from, I'll message him and ask him if he wants the head. And uh, if he does, then that's fine. I'll send it to him. The bottom end isn't useful. I've got the transmission. That's fine. It's just cylinder three is is melted. So I'll let you guys know in on that. I've got the engine bay here. I've got all the intake stuff out. Uh, engine bay is completely gutted besides the motor, the transmission, and the brake lines. There was some other stuff. All the vacuum, uh, the whole vacuum system. You can see all this this little diagram up here. All of the vacuum lines and everything are completely taken out of the car. All the coolant lines, uh, the radiator, everything. Literally the only thing left is brake lines, the clutch line, uh, and just the motor and trans. What I plan on doing is completely welding in every single little tiny hole you see. They're all going to be uh, welded in, ground down, and the whole engine bay is going to be painted black. I told you guys that in the last video, and I think I've been telling you guys that for a long time. Uh, I want a black engine bay. So, the motor and trans will come out eventually, and it's all going to be done black. I've got to look around on some forms and see how to do the brake line tuck. So, once I find out how to do that stuff, it should be pretty easy. I know that the headlight wires are ran through the outer fenders. I know that. But uh, there's a wiring harness here, and I think all the wiring just goes behind, like underneath the intake manifold. But I'm not quite sure where people hide the um, distribution valve for the brakes that keeps everything even, so uh, the same amount of pressure is sent to each individual brake. After I figure out where that is, the vacuum line, the, the fuel uh, filter, I'll put all that stuff into place and it should look pretty good in here. I'm still gonna do black engine bay, uh, silver, high temp silver, uh, head, block, transmission, and I'll do something cool with the uh, valve cover. I'll either do the uh, hydro dipping from the guys in Naples, or I'll just match it with the grabber blue that's on the car. This is only a uh, front disc brake car, so I got the Del Sol that I'm taking this the donor motor from and that uh, the rear brake assembly will fall right into place of this one and then I'll have disc brakes all around so from there all the calipers will be done grabber blue as well as my valve cover if I don't end up doing the hydro dipping. So pretty much what made this funny of not really knowing what was causing the motor to be burning crazy amounts of oil was when it was running before like before I did anything performance wise this motor it ran fine you know obviously or I wouldn't have put performance stuff on it after a few runs and passes and stuff just showing people the car and whatnot I went well I noticed it sounded like it was kinda like it was cammed which obviously was cylinder not firing correctly so I knew something was up by the tone of the exhaust, and uh, I wasn't really smelling at that point. It just sounded funny, I didn't really know what it was, didn't really give it much thought when I should have. An another big thing that kind of gave it away was, I went to check my oil when the car was running, which was stupid, but I was in a rush, so I checked the oil, and when I pulled the dipstick out, I could hear it sounded like a knocking. And uh, pretty much what I think that was, was uh, the ring of the piston hitting down the bottom where it you know usually wasn't it built up a little lip over time the other motor is just gonna you know 
go into this one and we shouldn't have any worries. The other motor's real healthy. Uh, I think this one had 160k on it before it blew up, which is pretty surprising. I honestly didn't really give it much thought of what it had on it, but then I thought about it after it blew up and I was like, that motor had some miles on it, so I'm not going to really worry about it. I've got the other motor. You guys can see what's going on here. Not too much, just taking everything apart. So this is just a quick little update. I want to let you guys know that it was piston rings and uh, the head still looks good. So this is the Honda and it's blown up. So I just want to thank you guys for watching this little update. It's a little on the longer side than what I thought it was going to be. Not too many videos will be coming out. Maybe when I'm like welding up the, the engine bay, when I'm doing progress on the engine bay, I'll give you guys some videos. But I don't see this being touched for a little while, at least two weeks. So that's sad to say, but uh, we've got other projects going on. My dad's doing a Nova, and uh, I'm not going to make him drop everything to help me with this. So I'll uh, catch you guys later.